What's going on, guys? I'm Jehovah, but I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. How you like that new intro? God, I just thought of that off the top of my, off the tip of my penis. I like it. Not really. I don't know. Anyways, guys, this, I don't even know what you're watching right now. I just turned the microphone on and started spitting these rhymes, except for nothing's rhyming. Anyways, we're gonna talk about some things. I have just finished uploading the, well, you guys know this, the um, the Let's Play, the motherfucking San Andreas Let's Play. I want I just want to thank you guys. I want to take a second to thank you guys for the support through all that. I already did this in the last episode of it, but uh, just thank you again. You guys were awesome through that whole thing, and it was a really awesome experience. Uh, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Now, I put a link in the description of a poll asking people what GTA we were going to play next for a Let's Play on the channel. And uh, I was actually a little surprised by the results. It seemed like all the opinions were kind of torn. And, um, you know, as I was uploading episodes and I was mentioning it throughout the Let's Play of what I should go to next. Um, but uh, it, it seems that the results are leaning very favorably towards GTA 4, which I thought everybody was kind of... I, I always thought GTA 4 was like one of the fan least favorites of the GTA games. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Uh, and I kind of gave you guys my backstory on that. Like, I started playing through the GTA 4 campaign, never really got too into it, and ended up kind of giving up on it and never beating it. Um, so it will be kind of a fresh experience for me once we get to a certain point of the game, which is kind of exciting. Uh, but I really figured that people would be excited about the GTA 3 Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories games. But... Uh, and, and that's going to be kind of interesting because you guys voted for GTA 4, so then after 4, where do we go? Like, naturally 5, right? So then do I do 4 and then 5 and then go back to Liberty City Stories in Vice City? I guess so. I don't know. But uh, that'll be fun. I, I just kind of wanted to say that uh, I was reading some of the comments on the last episode and everything, and people were like, man, like... I, they're like, don't take this as an insult, but sometimes I'll be watching this late at night and like I'll fall asleep halfway through, but then as soon as I wake up, I finish the rest of it. And uh, people are replying and like, me too, and it's sad to see that it's it's over and everything. And it it was kind of a surreal moment for me. I was like, God damn, this is this is like this is like whatever your fa whatever your favorite show on TV ends. You know, like I know that feeling. I watch like Better Call Saul and some stuff right now. And uh, whenever the season finale comes, it's like, oh, I was sick, but like. Damn, now I don't get to watch it for a long time. So I don't know. It was just cool to see that you guys were that entertained by it. And uh, I, I really I really appreciate that. But on that note, I've been wanting to catch up on a lot of things lately here on this channel. The update to Slime Rancher happened a while back, and I made one episode for that. And I meant to be like more regular with that series again because I was really regular with it when we first started. And then we just kind of ran out of things to do. Um Due to the limitations of it being an early access game. But anyways, now with the update, there's some more stuff that I can do. And, and and there's no excuse to not get episodes up for you guys. I really do enjoy that game. And I know you guys enjoy it too. So I've been meaning to get back to that. And I just haven't had time. Like the San Andreas episode kicked my ass. I'm not going to lie. Being able to put up 30 minute episodes every single day for 55 episodes in a row. Pretty much. We kind of missed like two. Uh, but... Still, that is a, like, if you guys don't know my backstory, uh, I'm a father of two children, uh, a three-year-old and a one-year-old, and uh, obviously my time is very, uh, very full. It, it, I'm a busy guy, you know what I'm saying? I got a, I got a family and, and lots going on, and I run two YouTube channels and all that shit, too, so I try to live stream and all that, so uh, it's busy. It kicked my ass, but it was fun. It was worth it. I enjoyed it. Um, but because, because of that Let's Play, I kind of got behind on some of the stuff that I wanted to do. Like, So Slime Rancher was one of those things. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, I did two episodes. I, I think two episodes of that. I definitely want to get back into that. I think you guys really enjoyed the, the Roller Coaster Tycoon. Speedy and I are still talking about doing the co-op park. We have some ideas for some series that we can do uh, in that game. Uh, and I think that could be a whole lot of fun. I think that could be something really really cool um so slime rancher roller coaster tycoon what else is there i'm like looking through notes i have notes all over my um all over my desk here and like i write down on post-it notes and just put them all over my computer maybe those were the only two that i can think of right now but another thing that i was thinking about doing is you guys really like the 8-bit armies and i was thinking there's a single player campaign in that now that's not going to be like huge like story driven gameplay i guess you know it, it's just going to be more um 
it'll pretty much be what you guys watch in the multiplayer videos, but a little bit of a story behind it and everything. And I thought that would be cool to, to maybe do some of that too. So we, we've got Roller Coaster Tycoon, Slime Rancher, 8-Bit Armies campaign, and then most importantly, in my mind right now, I'm really excited for it. I believe the 13th is this coming Friday. Doom comes out. The new Doom comes out. And I, and I played the beta multiplayer and it was really sick and all of the single player campaign stuff that they have shown so far looks insane looks really cool and i've been planning uh you know since pretty much i saw footage of it to to play through that single player campaign for you guys as a let's play so my point is is that i have all these things that i kind of want to catch up on plus a new game coming out doom that i really want to let's play and uh, give you guys a good experience with that campaign that um, the next GTA might not start for a little while. Uh, you know, I'll take a little bit of a, of a break from that. And uh, I don't even know. I use, I use a website called howlongtobeat.com. And it's, I mean, imagine by the name what it does, what, it, what, it, what service it provides. It's really cool. You can type in almost any game that's out as long as it's been out long enough. Like sometimes it's hard to get data on a new game because there's no user feedback. But uh, basically a bunch of people sign up for the website and they are people that enjoy completing games. And once they complete that game, they leave a review, say, of the new Doom. Okay, I played it on PC and it took me 14 hours to beat the campaign. And all I did was the story mode, main stuff, right? Or Johnny B can leave a review, and it took me 22 hours, but I did all the side stuff that I could, and I played it on PS4, and whatever. And there's enough users that use it that it, that it makes really good averages and everything. So every time I do a Let's Play, long story short, I look up the game on there to figure out about how many hours it's going to take, how long my episodes should be, and all that. So I don't know how long Doom will be, obviously. Um, I'm, I'm going to guess, usually games like, I don't know, I'm going to guess around... 10 hours ish uh usually games like that don't go much longer you know first person shooter campaigns uh, i'd be surprised if it's i mean like gta games it's pretty common for them to be like 20 30 hours but not a first person shooter usually so um we will just see but yeah gta 4 i haven't even looked up yet i don't know how long that campaign is going to last me but uh i did like the daily episode I, I liked the way daily episodes felt as far as like the viewer to content producer relationship goes, I guess. Like I really, I felt like you guys were more, um, what, what's the word more, um, involved. You guys were, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, it's the same as it's the same concept as like, Oh, I love this show and it's on Netflix. So I can watch as much of it as I want right now. And as opposed to like, Oh, there's a weekly episode. You know what I mean? It's just, I feel like you get more into it. You can follow it better and all that good stuff. So, you know, I'm not going to promise anything for GTA four, but I did really like the way that the daily episodes worked out. So, uh, we'll see, but yeah, just my main point of this video was, I guess, to tell you guys that, uh, the GTA four let's play might not start for a little while i'm going to take a little bit of a break and kind of uh you know get things together and get caught up on some stuff that i was wanting to do and summer's starting so it's busy anyways but it will happen don't you worry and uh, let me know i, I kind of wanted to gauge your interest on on the stuff that i did mention uh, do you, you do you guys still enjoy the slime rancher videos from the views on the last one i think you guys do um Roller Coaster Tycoon, you guys still want to see that? How interested are, are you in the co-op thing with Speedy with Roller Coaster Tycoon? Uh, how interested are you in 8-Bit Armies, solo campaign videos, and um, yeah, well, well, whether you're interested or not in Doom, I'm playing the shit out of that. I, I'm, I'm really excited about that. I actually, I, I'm actually going to have to, I have some plans this weekend, and like, obviously, right around the time Doom comes out, so I'm going to have to I'm going to have to figure something out to get those episodes ready for you guys and all that. Maybe I can score the game a couple days early. That would be really helpful. But uh, anyways, just, yeah. And, and again, thank you not only for the support on GTA San Andreas. You guys have been insane with Shellshock Live videos, 8-Bit Army videos. Uh, what else have I been uploading? Uh, the Golf with Friends is still insane. You guys absolutely love watching that. Those guys are working on... It's really cool because a lot of the content I'm working on right now, like I have a semi-close relationship with the devs. Um, 
some way somehow basically just you guys show it enough love and everything and then it was funny because i had i uploaded 8-bit armies right i had already uploaded it and uh a couple days later i got an email from a developer and, it, and and i get these emails all the time like if you've been to if you've been to pax or e3 or anything and had a media badge you get put on these lists and you have to give an email when you sign up for it an email address and i gave my my business email and so because i was on those media lists at e3 and pax and stuff like that like every video game company out there pretty much whenever they release an update for the game you know whenever they you know dlc or a new game or a trailer or anything i get an email for it right so i got this email anyways it was from the developers of Abit Armies and Abit Armies, and they were like, "Hey, you know, we're we're making this new RTS game, and if you want to check it out, let us know, and we can get you a code for it." And I emailed them back, and I was like, "Oh, I've already played it, man. Here's my video, and you know, I really enjoy it." And ended up shooting shit back and forth, and, and you know, I've been talking to them about stuff that me and Speedy and the other guys that have played think that they should add or think that they should fix or which direction they want to go. And they've asked us for feedback and, you know, there's talks about us testing new builds and stuff like that. So it's a really cool situation. And, um, you know, that's just, that's just awesome. It's, it's a really cool, uh, really cool place to be in. And, you know, it, it wouldn't be a thing without you guys. So anyways, uh, you know, that's 8-Bit Armies. And then uh, a similar situation with the Golf with Friends. I guess the developers from that uh, is a couple guys from Australia. And apparently they were fans of our channels before they made this game. And so um, once they started, saw us started playing, they uh, they reached out. And we've had a line of communication with those guys too. And it's been really cool. They've, you know, they've asked us what kind of... What kind of courses do you think we should have? What kind of you know holes and what do you think we should change and blah 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 and and been able to give a direct line of feedback from not only from our opinions but like what we see about in the comments. Like we read our comments and if you guys are like, oh, they should do this or they should get rid of that, you know, we can pass that on to the developers and that's really cool. So um, you guys kind of are playing a part in the progress of the video game. You know, in, a, in in the development of the video game, I, I guess you could say, just by watching our videos and uh, commenting. So, that's really cool. That's uh, really cool. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling, guys. I like to do these commentaries from time to time. You guys know that. I like to talk to you guys, let you guys, uh, let you guys know what's going on kind of behind the scenes, I guess. I don't know. I, just like, I like for you guys to feel like you're involved, I suppose. So, once again, thank you so much for everything. Keep on doing what you guys do. You already know what it is that you do that I dig. I love you. I'll talk to you later.